indeed it is Sunday July 21st and it is 10 05 a.m. and we're on our way to Target we're gonna get uh, nine dollars and 51 cents for 2.6 miles we have to shop for three items and then we're gonna go to tropical smoothie and pick up something from there and we have to drop off to two different customers this is a uh, not so great of an offer the miles are good uh, miles are low and the money's high so the ratio is good but it's not the $20 minimum that I wanted, but it's so late in the day I just had to take it. So let's get on let's get on over to Target. Take a look at the shopping list and see what we're shopping for. It looks like it's some kind of pet cat urine remover. <laughs> uh, some child's grape flavored allergy relief chewable tablets and some white nasal aspirator safety first i don't know where the heck that's going to be in the store hopefully it's in the baby section i hope all right well let's get on in there and get started <laughs> So I was at the baby section for that nasal aspirator and then they want children's allergy relief and I went back to the baby section I thought it'd be over there but it's actually where all the other medicine is I got confused children and baby is different all right just one more item to get let's go to the pets pet section Okay, I got everything and now we just gotta head to the checkout. Everything went just fine. I was able to get everything that they wanted. No substitution, so that was good. And uh, I went to the South Checkout. No line at the South Checkout, so that was easy. And now the the tropical smoothies here in this shopping center, so that should go easy as well. And uh, hopefully this will just be a really quick and easy one. I guess for today I'm going to be giving up on my $20 per offer because I sort of missed out on, uh, I must have missed out on about four different offers this morning uh, waiting for a $20 one and uh, I don't really regret it because I did get a lot of stuff done at home that I wanted to do so it wasn't a, a negative to um, to do it of course I didn't make any money <laughs> so that's not a positive thing but it is good that at least I was able to uh, make some 
do some productive things at home. So, all right, I'm pulling into Tropical Smoothie. Let's do it. Thank you, have a good one. First drop off is going to be the um, tropical smoothie and it's here in the shopping center so it sounds like this one is going to be super simple. I think the only problem is I've never heard of this business. It's some type of, um, I think it's some type of spa but I'm like I don't remember seeing this particular business name before. So uh, hopefully as I'm driving it will all become clear and I'm going to see this, this place. So um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see here. Where, does this, where is the navigation trying to take me? It's saying just go straight all the way down and it's going to be on the left hand side. Oh, let's see. Well, at least they have the name of the business. It's a spa and it's a handed to me. So that's good news. Man, I've been at home too long. My brain is like a little bit in a fog here. I'm like trying to figure out, you know, what I'm doing and what's my new rate going to be and what should I accept and not accept. So I'm a little bit foggy today. So I gotta really make sure I uh, don't crash the car, number one. And let's see. Oh, there it is. I see it on the left. Holy cow, I've never been to this particular place. All right, let me turn in and park, and then I'll drop it off, and we'll be ready to drop off the uh, target order. dropped off and uh, now we're on our way to the second drop off. I'm not exactly sure how long this has been going on for. I want to say, I want to say now it's probably been a, it must be a half an hour by now or getting close to it. So okay, so now let's see, I gotta get over one more. Oh man see what the instructions are leave at my door message me at the gate I will open remotely drive straight through the intersection and it's the second house on the right okay <laughs> okay let's go I messaged the customer and I said I am here so let's just see how quickly they're able to click us in to the gate since I have messaged them <laughs> maybe I should have to call them Sometimes, well, they, they said message me. Message when at the gate and I will open remotely. And I, <laughs> I sent them a message. I'm here. Maybe they need another message. I'll put in, I'm at the gate. I'm at the gate. Oh, there they go. T Y. Send. Okay, now we're in. Let's see. Now it says second house on the right. Okay, here we go. First house, everybody. And the second house, everybody. Where's the address? This is it. Let's do it.
All right, so that's all done, and now we got nothing as I head back. Uber Eats, eight dollars six cents, eight point two miles. No. So now we're on our way back to the base, and uh, I didn't do anything that's too exciting to report. Um, after I get done delivering today, which I'm gonna probably stop at noon. I'm gonna start making. Uh, I gotta make myself some more veggie patties. I bought all the ingredients to make them, so I'm gonna have to whip that up since I'm totally out. I ate the last one uh, uh, earlier before I, I uh, went out and did this uh, offer. And uh, I gotta put it all together. I was like, maybe I should make a video showing how I make my veggie burgers, but it's a simple recipe. All you're doing is taking uh, black beans, onions, garlic bell peppers breadcrumbs uh you're kind of just whipping all this stuff together to make like this con this ground beef consistency um textured um concoction and then i got this little device that shapes it into a hamburger patty and then i'm just uh throwing it in the oven for like 20 minutes so that they're cooked and then i free i then i just Lot, I wrap, put them all in a, um, I, I flash freeze them in the uh, freezer. I have like a flat surface inside of the freezer and I flash freeze them. Then I just store them away in a Ziploc bag and that's it. So you can look it up. Look up, veg, look up black bean veggie burger recipe. That's where I got it from. I just went on the internet and got the recipe. And uh, hopefully you know how to cook. <laughs> I find that most people... Uh, Uber Eats, eight dollars, eleven point three miles. No, most people they want to, uh, they want to do recipes online and learn how to do stuff. But it's it's surprising. I'm always shocked how many people don't know how to cook at all. They don't even know how to turn the stove on. All they know how to do is microwave. It's really depressing when I think about the future and all these people that are not even going to know how to make. You know make things from uh, from scratch it's always just gonna be a box a pre-made box full of chemicals that they're gonna just shove into a microwave and eat and then when they're old they're gonna get really sick <laughs> but um, yeah but I guess maybe at that point they'll learn because they'll still there'll always be videos on YouTube where people will be able to learn uh, Uber Eats five dollars four cents 3.5 miles no so um, yeah so anyway this could be our this could be the last um, delivery I mean our one and only delivery uh, this will be probably one of my shortest videos because we're not getting anything um, that's gonna even meet my lower criteria which is really just super low miles right now and somewhere around minimum of about mm, I would say about eight dollars is what I'm looking for so I don't know if we're gonna get anything like that my my sense is that um, that we may do at the very we may do just one more and then that's going to be my video and then my videos will probably end up being all of about maybe about 20 minutes long which for me is a super short video we got our next one it's from uh, uber eats uh 16 dollars and 28 cents 7.3 miles we have to go to uh capriati's first and then we're gonna have to go to the coffee class so let's get over there a little thrown off right now because a delivery driver showed up showed up to my place and I was just like trying to back out and they were trying to wave me down to give me the package that they were delivering and um, I, I don't really understand that it must be somebody that's new to doing deliveries because just as a general rule you you don't bother the uh, person who's receiving a package, if they're in their car and they're departing, you just leave it at the door. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, they must be new. They must be uh, new to doing delivery. And somehow, you know, they wanted to make sure the package didn't get stolen. So they were trying to get me to uh, take it from them. Why isn't this guy going? Good gravy you were there already why didn't you go <laughs> what is it with today come on people 
Let's get our act together. Let's all get our act together. Like right now, I'm completely discombobulated. I was watching, I must have watched about eight different episodes of Twilight Zone while I was at home, and they have put me in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> that show really sucks me in, and it takes my mind to a completely other place. So now that I'm doing this job, my mind is still trying to think about all the puzzles and riddles and and meanings behind the episodes that I saw in, in the episodes of the Twilight Zone. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be making a right right here. And then we're gonna go up this ramp. Um, we're, the uh, the Capriottis is inside of the Green Valley Ranch Casino. And we're gonna park on top of the roof of the uh, parking structure. And then we're gonna go in and look at all the gambling slot machines going bling, 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 and all that good stuff. And while we're doing that, I'm sure I'll still be thinking about those Twilight Zone episodes that I watched. Cause they're so bizarre. And so many weird things happen that it completely throws you for a loop. Can I park right here? Oh, wow, well, I can park right here. How nice is this? This is nice. Wow, right, right close to the entrance. Let's go in. Well, that order was not ready, so I had to wait. I don't know how long I waited. I don't think I waited longer than about five or six minutes. And uh, I turned on DoorDash trying to get another offer, thinking I would just cancel on this and move on to something else because the uh, coffee class doesn't even start the order until I arrive. And this order it's like the same situation they they said they had just gotten the order so I was gonna have to wait so that really turns these uh, these quick pickup and drop off um, deliveries they turns them into a much longer event which I don't like and I don't know why uh, I don't know why the coffee class does that I mean Starbucks does the same thing that they do and they never do that. They never wait until the drivers show up to uh, to pick stuff up. They're not like, oh, oh, you're here now. Okay, we're gonna start the customers' coffee. Now that we now that we know you've arrived here at Starbucks, let us start the drink for the customer. It just doesn't even make sense to me. I'm like, what is so special about the drinks that you make compared to the drinks at uh, Starbucks or even uh, even coffee bean and tea leaf they make the drinks in advance and they're already bagged up in the bag so I don't know maybe because they're a smaller operation I've never even heard of the coffee class as far as it being a, a chain so maybe they're somehow trying to be like oh our coffee's always hot and fresh <laughs> always hot and fresh because we don't wait until the delivery drivers get to the location before we start the coffee. <laughs> Maybe that's what they want to be known for. <laughs> I don't know. All right, four minutes, 1.8 miles. Let's go get it. Wanted to give you the, oh, yuck. There was a dead animal in the road. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was, I think it was a decapitated rabbit. <laughs> Oh, I got my door dash on. <laughs> I was going to give you an update on the ants before I was 
terrorized by the by the um, dead animal in the road. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right. So the ants are gone as for, for now. I haven't seen any today. I didn't see any last night. So everything's fine. Now I've got to recover from shock. I'll be back. We've made it. We're at the Coffee Class Shopping Center. And let's see. It's going to be here on the right. And I usually park over here to the left in these special parking spots that are for... I don't know what there are. I don't even know what the signs say. I always just park here. Curbside pickup is what they say. Well, here I am. I'm picking up. Let's go. place was crowded. That place was super packed, I swear. I wouldn't want to be in there when the COVID is going around really bad here in Vegas. I'm like, that is not the place to be hanging out with the way things are right now. But people are so crazy, they don't care. So uh, we're going to first be dropping off the Capri Audis. Five minutes from here, 2.4 miles. It's a meet at the door. All right, let's hit it. Yeah, people are just out of control there. They want to just have a good time. So that's what they're going to do. And I think everybody in there was young. And so they're just like, who cares? <laughs> they don't care about getting sick. It's not a big deal to them. Well, now I got to yield and wait until these cars go by. Come on, cars. I want to get this stuff dropped off. All right, I think we're good. Look at this guy driving his red Vespa on all the rocks. What a no <laughs> He must have stole that Vespa and he's trying to get it, you know, get it so where nobody catches him. <laughs> Didn't that seem like that person stole that Vespa? I don't know if, he, if I showed up on the camera, but they're like all these um, huge boulder rocks to the right of the freeway in between the freeway and and the shopping center and it's like a brand new vespa it looked it looked brand spanking new and he's just pushing it through all the bowl through all those those rocks and the rocks are not small like each rock is probably like uh five inches by five inches so they're huge rocks <laughs> so that just told me that he 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 uh stole that from somebody and uh He's just trying not to get caught by going somewhere where there's no people. Man, welcome to Vegas. All right, we're almost there. Went into the coffee class. It was so packed, there was nowhere to stand. So I was standing next to all the ba the, 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 the bags that were for delivery drivers to, to uh, pick up. And it was still hardly any room for me right there. And this, uh, this one uh, lady who was, a, who was working there she started just smashing all these dirty dishes right next to me and i swear i heard one of them break like she was taking all of her, her all of her aggression out on the dishes and and she was literally right next to me doing it and i think she was really irritated that i was standing there because i was kind of in the way so people but there was nowhere else for me to stand except for if i went a little further down there was a bench where i could have sat down sat down at but there was like, the employees had put their personal belongings there on the bench. So I didn't know if I could sit there or not. So I was like, well, I don't want to sit there because people are going to think I'm going to try to steal their stuff on this bench. But no, they told me, can you sit on the bench? I'm like, okay. 
All right, we're here, everybody. I think it's gonna be this house here on the right. Oh no, it's not. It's the gotta go a little further down. It's this one here with these two cars. Yep. All right, and it's a meet at the door, I believe. So let's meet. Meet. Do a little meet and greet, fat folks. went just fine no problems and now we're off to the next one it's a leave at the door uh, it's a house and it's only one minute from here I mean no three minutes one mile let's get going all right we're in the neighborhood and we're just about there it's gonna round this bend here and I think it's gonna oh it's gonna be on the left this neighborhood is really run down looking let me tell you is not not the best looking neighborhood I'm trying to think what positive things I could say about this uh, this neighborhood it looks just all like rock and weeds to me all right it's gonna be this house here on the left I think I already passed it yeah oh they have weird numbers on their on their a uh, oh, weird font it was hard to read okay let's do this what it takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws. Well, it is now 11.22. We've got 30 minutes left. I currently have about, oh, I have a little over 11 miles on the car. 5.56, 13 miles to go to Apple Store now. And uh, by the time I get back to home base, oh, we'll probably, I'll probably have 17 miles on the car or 20 miles. I'm trying to just do 30 miles on the car every day just to see if I can do it <laughs> and to see what kind of money can I make if I'm actually limiting the number of miles I put on the car so it's just an experiment I'm always trying out different things so I'm like let's suppose let's suppose I only put 30 miles on the car every day that's only half a gallon of gas if I'm averaging 60 miles to the gallon and then of course that would mean I'd only probably uh, I probably only have to have the car uh, serviced one time a year which would be awesome because I think the way I was doing it before I had to get the car serviced two to three times a year so obviously I'm making less money doing it but I don't know if I necessarily care uh, let's see this is a shop and pay from Albertsons and it is not worth it goodbye uh, make sure I have my DoorDash on. Yup, that's on. So, oh, hello, are you talking to me? 10 for 10, no. Yeah, I'm going to just try to uh, do that and see um, just how much money I can make. I think in general, I should still average about $50 a day if things work in my favor. Now, if things start to get really slow, it's not it's absolutely not going to work in my favor and i won't be getting any making any money at all but um maybe that's a good strategy for me because i can't my primary goal is to not have put a lot of miles on the car uh what is this doordash 775 six miles that's not worth it goodbye i'm getting on the freeway all right well nothing's coming in that's worth even talking about the temperature is currently 108 degrees at 11.25 a.m. It's a hot one, folks, and uh, I wish I was at home, and I wish I was done with my day. 
cost to service my car it's just an oil change and a tire rotation uber eats eight dollars fifty cents ten point five miles no just an oil change and a tire rotation but i think i think with inflation now the cost to have that done is about a hundred and fifty to a hundred and seventy five dollars now it has really skyrocketed so i'm really trying to avoid doing uh servicing on my car so that i only do it no no more than once a year would be which, which would be would be nice because not only would it save me money on car services obviously but the car would last longer could this car could last me potentially up to 10 years long up to 10 years more which would be totally amazing my favorite uh, Twilight Zone episode is the one with the doll you know talking Tina and she goes like I'm talking Tina and I, you better be nice to me <laughs> I like that one because it it was like the ideal childhood dream to have a a a toy that would protect you from all kinds of you know bad things from happening to you the doll would like be like your defender if uh, people tried to mess with you or were were mean to you so I think that that's why even as a grown-up I enjoy that episode um, that's what I'm according and then the second one is that is that kid you know the kid who could whatever he thinks he could make it happen um, I can't remember what his character name was but remember he would he would send them to the cornfield <laughs> he's like you better be nice to me or I'll send you to the cornfield so uh, but wait I think that was in the wasn't that in the new wasn't in that wasn't that in Twilight Zone the movie I don't know if that was originally in the 19, you know, in the original uh, TV show. Now that I think about it, but that was, it was in the original one because I remember that that kid. I think Billy Mummy. I think he, you know, the one from Lost in Space. I think he played that character that could sit, that could send the family away and make them like, uh, you know, have terrible things happen to them just by him thinking. All right, everybody, I'm wrapping things up. I, I read there's like big news that the president has dropped out of the race to be reelected. So I want to watch the news. I'm like in shock. I'm like, wait a minute. This is big news. I want to watch the news. So anyway, take a look at the numbers and you can see how much money I made. The hourly rate, miles per gallon, total miles driven, online time, work time. And then, of course, below, you can see the DoorDash and the Uber Eats uh, stats and all that good stuff. <laughs> and I think that's about it. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'm sure I'll be talking to you about all kinds of things tomorrow in the next one. All right. Take care. Bye for now.